Well, hi everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life, business, health, body, fitness from where you are right now to being unstoppable. One of the things that we're going to talk about today is about tracking what it is that we do. Now, in life, we uh, are not necessarily that great at tracking all the things that we do. Some of us keep a journal, um, but a lot of us don't, and we certainly don't track a lot when it comes to do with our, our health and wellness. But when it comes to our businesses, those of us that are successful uh, business uh, owners, entrepreneurs, if you are successful, then you've got to know your numbers, right? You've got to track your numbers. And we're talking about here things like your sales, your expenses, breaking it down into, well, you might break your sales down into various categories, looking at what's your average sale, what's your lifetime client value, what's your profit, what's your, uh, what are all your different expenses, what are your margins, uh, what are the leads that you get, how many leads are you getting in, um, uh, what are the different, co- uh, your bi- different business centers within your business, what is each profit center making, staff KPIs, all of that kind of stuff. I mean, there is so much detail that you can go into and we should all know our numbers. And just interestingly, I was doing my numbers just yesterday and today, having a look at how I compare with, uh, say, June this year compared to June last year, given that we've been shut down and so forth for um, pretty much three months here in uh, Australia and we're locked down again right now. And if I look at my last uh, last year's results, I'm up by... Actually, I haven't actually worked out the exact percentage, but I think it's about 25% I'm up on last year. When I compared June this year to June last year, I was up 43.4%. And that's despite being shut down for the majority of June. Um, So it just goes to show how much I've been able to grow my business over the last 12 months uh, with dedicated, focused, hard work. But I wouldn't know that if I didn't track my numbers and if I didn't look at them. And when you do track your numbers, obviously you can make better decisions, you get better outcomes, and that's what makes it exciting. Now, when it comes to your health and fitness though, what are you tracking there? And I can hear silence. Now that may be not because you're just not in the room with me, but I guarantee you that most of you listening to this probably do not track anything to do with your health and fitness. So a couple of podcasts ago, I mentioned about having an annual physical, and I won't go through all the things again, but making sure that you go through, uh, see your, your good GP and have, a, have them go through a full physical with you, your blood test work, all that kind of stuff. And that is then starting to create this passport of health for yourself as to where your health is right now and how it progresses over time. And I recommend you do that. Well, I said annual, so I recommend you do it every year at least. When it comes to your day-to-day management of your health, so what are you you tracking? And I'm going to give you a bonus at the end of this recording. I'll tell you how you can get it. It's a bonus report all about uh, tracking uh, what it is that you do with your, your health and fitness. But I'm going to tell you the things that I believe are the key things when it comes to tracking because... Let's face it, if you want to achieve anything in life, but if you want to achieve your health and fitness, then you've got to have a plan, right? You've got to have a plan and know exactly what it is that you want, why you want it, but you've got to be able to track your progress in order to get there. Otherwise, you don't know how you're progressing and you're going to base it normally for most people because most people want to lose fat, lose weight. So they judge it by what? One thing, one measure. And what's that? Put, jumping on the scales and seeing the number move down. But this is the reason why that is a fundamentally flawed only measure. If you put on 10 kilos of muscle and you lost 10 kilos of fat, and this, what would that mean? That would mean the number would stay at zero. In ter- well, sorry, the movement would be zero. And you say, oh, well, I'm really disappointed by that if you just judged it by that number. But the reality is 10 kilos of muscle is massive. Okay, that's a massive body composition change. Losing 10 kilos of fat 
is a massive body composition change. So what that would mean is you would be a couple of sizes different, you would feel completely different, you would look fundamentally different, you would go from being overweight most likely to being uh, looking in much better shape, you'd be much healthier, there'd be less strain on your heart, you'd be less prone to getting cancers, type two diabetes, a whole uh, range of other heart-related illnesses. So that's just a, a very simple example as to why using that as a number, yeah, as a your only measure, is fundamentally flawed. So what we need to do is make sure that you're tracking a whole range of things. Now I'm here to tell you that if you track the things that I'm going to tell you right now, you will be seven to eight times more likely to succeed in your health and fitness journey. No matter what it is that you want to achieve, whether it's weight loss, whether it's muscle gain, whether it's just to improve your eating habits, you will be seven to eight times more likely to improve. Why is that? Because you're making yourself accountable for what it is that you're putting in your mouth and all those other things that you're doing. So, so the food that you're eating, the exercise and, and so forth. So I'm going to tell you the things that I tr personally track every single day or every single workout for the first one that I'm going to tell you. And the first one is the exercise. So with your exercise, I, I've got my own app that I use, uh, but I track every single workout that I do. I track every single exercise that I do. I track every rep. I, I track the weight. I track the, um, the number of repetitions, the number of sets that I do. Every single workout. Now, let me tell you this, when I, before apps existed, and yes, I started training well before any apps existed, um, back in 1988, I had to write it all down. And I used to fill books, exercise books, with what I was lifting, because I wanted to know how much I was progressing in terms of my strength and everything. Uh, but there was probably a decade or more of time, maybe 10, 15 years even, where I didn't track. All I did was I was going to the gym, I was doing workouts, I wasn't writing things down. I was basing it based on a feeling of how I felt when I walked in the gym at the time, remembering or trying to remember how much I lifted last time. Wasn't really making any significant progress. Is that a surprise? No, because I wasn't writing it down. So if I don't write it down, I'm not really reflecting or focused on what it is I'm really there to do. And so I was just going through the motions. Now I can tell you that 99% of people that go to a gym, I, I mean, I've, I work out when they're open, I work out in a, a local gym here, uh, and most people are not writing anything down, they're not focused, they're jumping from one machine to the next. Uh, how do they remember? How do they remember what they did three weeks ago on that same day, three weeks ago? And the tracking what it is that they're doing, the progress that they're making, they have no idea. It's just based on feeling. So they might still be, at, well, this isn't to say that they're not achieving something for their body. It just means that we can do it better. We can do it smarter and you'll be much more focused. So when I step into the gym, I know exactly why I'm there because I know what, exactly what it is that I want. I know why it is that I want it. I know that the workout that I'm about to do is gonna get me one step closer to where it is that I wanna to get to. When it gets really hard, when I'm in pain, so like today, for instance, I, I trained my legs. The, my leg workouts are really, really tough. So I get up to 260 kilos on my leg press, super, super tough for me. It causes a lot of pain through my muscles, uh, but I love it, I train for that pain. But when it gets that hard, and I think, I wanna stop, but I know I need to keep pushing, that's when I dig into my why, and I say, why am I doing this? And I light it up in my mind, in that split second click of the fingers, and boom, it's there, so I dig a little deeper. And I push, and I'll push out a couple more until I can't do any more. And that's because I've got all of these things connected in my mind so I know why I'm there and why I'm in that moment doing that set right then and why I'm in that much pain. So before I start each exercise, I look back and I say, what did I do on that last exercise, uh, that, the last workout? What did I do for that set? How many sets did I do? How many reps did I do for that particular weight? And every single, because of the program that I'm, um, I'm on right now, because I'm looking to improve my and my muscle mass, uh, reduce my body fat percentage and everything, 
I need to make sure that every single workout that I do for every single exercise, I increase the weight every single session. Even if it's by half a kilo to a kilo, if it's only that, I make sure that I have to increase it. And the reason that I do that, I work out, I work hard, I then feed the muscle, that then, like with food, I feed myself appropriately, that allows the, the, the stimulus that I've provided to react with the food and grow. And then next session, I can get a little bit uh, stronger. So uh, in working with my strength and conditioning coach, I lay out every single workout that I've done. I just reproduce this on a, an Excel spreadsheet. And you can see every date that I've done them, every exercise, the number of reps, and you can see for each exercise how progressively every single week I've increased a little bit, a little bit, some weeks a little bit more than others. But if you look at, say, and well, this is the difference when you track and you say, um, I don't know, let's just say that you're feeling a little bit flat. And so you can go back to this stuff and you can see what you've accomplished. So it's not until I give this data to my coach that sometimes I say, wow, I started my leg press, for instance, on 120 kilos. And now I'm doing 260. That's like, wow, actually today I did 265. It's a new PB for me on this particular leg press machine. So each leg press machine is a little bit different. So this is the one that I have in my studio. 265, it's a PB for me. Uh, by eight reps, by two sets. And it's like, wow, and I started at 120. That's crazy. And I look at some of the other exercises, like my single leg. Uh, deadlift, uh, sorry, uh, not deadlift, uh, leg press. So I started, on, I started on 20 kilos and then quickly went to 40 and then just steadily. And now I, I, today I did 75. So when you start to look at these things and you know that because I'm having the DEXA scans and everything, I can see again, tracking data. Uh, I can see that I've put on uh, I've almost two kilos of muscle. I've lost a bunch of body fat as well, and that's why my body fat percentage keeps dropping. Uh, so it's really, really exciting. You don't know this if you're not tracking it. So that's the first thing that I do. I track the exercise. The next thing, I, uh, the last thing I'll say on that point is at the end of each uh, workout I do, I rate it out of five stars because it's a simple click on the, the app. I rate it out of five stars, and I put in uh, you know, five to 10 words about what that workout meant to me. Uh, so um, today, for instance, what I wrote, I'm, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, let me, it's just going to take me a, a moment to um, bring up the app. I put all my client data in here as well. Um, so it's a, it's a fantastic, fantastic feature. If only I had this when I first started training, it would be amazing. So I've got 451 workouts of my own tracked in here. And today... All right, so what I said was I rated it out of five stars. I said, awesome workout with Liv, that's my daughter. I said, feeling strong. That's all I said. And so I know when I look at that again, I'll say, yeah, actually, I remember that. That was a really, really awesome workout. I felt really strong during the workout because some days I'll write, I felt completely spent by the end of the workout or I felt, uh, you know, by the, the third set of back, I was completely burnt out but I pushed on through the rest of it but I was completely spent by the end of it and I needed to have a sleep I felt like I needed to have a sleep um, so again I'm just tracking my um, you know how I'm feeling at the end of each exercise each workout next one tracking this is probably more important than the exercise but you do it all is your nutrition tracking your food so I track every single meal that I eat so today I ate because I worked out today so I, I ate eight times and uh, eight times between essentially 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. It'll be a little bit after that today because I'm recording this now and it's going over 6 p.m. And I track every single thing that I'm eating. I, I, I track the volume of protein that, that I'm eating. So it might be, say, my next meal. Uh, it will probably be 150 grams of beef strips. It will be uh, with uh, not really anything on them. I'll have three cups of mixed vegetables. I write down the vegetables that I'm having, which tonight it will be it will be um, like an Asian mix of uh, beans, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, red capsicum, maybe some onion, something like that, and snow pe like snap peas in there. Um, I put a little bit of Asian style dressing over the top, about a teaspoon, maybe half a tablespoon of that over the top. And uh, I'll either have fish oil or I might put some walnuts or some 
um, some flax meal or something like that on it. But I track that for every single meal. And I say, yeah, it's three cups of this, it's half a cup of this. So if I have brown rice, for instance, I'll say it's half a cup of brown rice. And then I send all that data through to my coach. Now I'm also, uh, I do that once a week, um, as in send him the data once a week. And uh, also at the bottom, I track how many hours sleep did I get? So I'm aiming for seven, but I've, the last few nights I've only got six. Uh, the night before I only got five and a half actually. Um, I track the amount of water that I'm drinking. So I'm aiming between three to four liters of water. I'm also tracking my mood. So when I get up in the morning, how am I feeling? And I say things like I'm feeling, I'm feeling fantastic. I feel focused. I feel, um, I was, I was going to say energized, uh, but energy is another one that I track as well. I say, am I feeling tired? Um, so there are some days where I'll say, uh, you know, I felt like I didn't get enough sleep or had a great sleep, uh, needed to have a sleep by 4 p.m. or, you know, feeling really, really tired by 4 p.m. Because you remember, I get up at around 4 a.m., so by 4 p.m. I can be tired, but some days I'm not. But other days I'm just like, man... I'm just completely gone. Like right now, I feel good. I was up at uh, around five. I tried to get an extra hour of sleep today. Um, so I was up around five. Uh, so it's after six. I'll finish at about nine o'clock, after nine o'clock tonight. I've got a group class and then I've got a, a team meeting as well after that. So I won't finish till after nine. And I feel pretty good. Now by the time I hit the, the pillow tonight, I'll probably be, I'll sleep really well. I am sleeping well at the moment. Um, but the point is that I track it and see because then, then you can see what I'm starting to do here and you can form a connection between, let's just say that workout that I, today that I said was awesome. Let's just say that I said, uh, I rated it three stars. I was I just really going through the motions. Uh, I, I didn't feel great through it I felt a bit weak and really tired at the end and then we say okay let's have a look at your nutrition journal and you have a look for the last few days and you can see that maybe I'm supposed to have six meals and get the, the timing right and get the certain ingredients and you go through it and you can see okay well one night there was pizza this is in mine because I'm very very focused with mine right now but one night was pizza one night one night might have been KFC you can see you're skipping some meals you're getting some you know, more junk food in there, you're getting more complex carbohydrates in than you probably should, uh, you're feeling bloated, all that kind of stuff. And you can start to see, okay, all of that is relating to how you're performing. Uh, I'm not getting enough water, I'm not getting enough sleep. You know, all of those things matter. Everything counts. And now let's just pause that conversation for a moment and think about your business. If you think about your business and you say, okay, well, I'm not getting the lead, all of a sudden you say, I'm not being as profitable. Don't know what's happening. And then you go through the data and you say, well, actually, you're not getting as many leads in now. You're not, uh, you're not um, closing as many. Your average client or your lifetime client value is dropping. Um, your, your staff aren't meeting your KPIs. Um, uh, you know, you, you can start to see, okay, well, I can see why your sales numbers are dropping, your performance is dropping, because you're not meeting these key fundamentals. This is exactly the same for your health. I get so excited and so passionate about this stuff because it truly, truly works. I'm doing it myself. I've done it for years, but I'm doing it right now, live for you in my body to tell you that these are the results that I'm getting. I've never been in a better shape. I've never been stronger. I've never looked as sharp as I do, as healthy as I do. I've never had as big muscles as I do. I've never been as lean. I've never had the six pack uh, like I do right now. That's because I've got all of these things connected, all of them. And where people say, uh, you know, I'm, well, I'm just not feeling very good. It's very simple for me to ask about five questions and I can easily see why you are feeling the way that you are because you're not putting the, th you're, like you're not putting the right foods into your body. You're not doing the right exercises for the body or enough exercise or just the, normally the right sort of exercise for your body. So you're not getting the result that you want. Now, 
I get a number of people. I'm working with a, a young lady at the moment, a lovely young girl, and she, she really wants to lose the last few kilos. She's not overweight, uh, but she wants to lose the last few kilos. And she's looking for a quick fix. And she sent me a message recently and saying, can you j send me some extra workouts that I can do at home? So I've given her some extra exercises, but before I gave them to her, I said, look, what I want you to, I said, the exercise is not your problem. I said, it's food. And this is most people's problem. The wrong nutrient timing, not getting the right nutrients in at the right time, uh, getting too much volume of some foods in and not enough plant-based food. And so this is why your metabolism's all a bit messed up and you're getting this, this outcome. Now she's only young, so she hasn't had a lifetime to be screwing up her metabolism, but uh, I know that she's just not eating the right thing. So I said to her, what I want you to do as I said, here's your workouts, but I want you to track everything via this journal that I sent her and send it to me in a week's time. So that's due tomorrow, I think. And let's go through it. And I said, then you and I can have a meaningful discussion about why you are getting the result that you're getting. Because she gets frustrated with why she's not getting the result. And I said, tell me what you're eating. And when she tells me, I said, this is why. So I've given her this task and uh, we'll see what happens. But tracking is so, so powerful because then, like me being her coach, we can have a meaningful discussion and I can tell you exactly why you're getting the outcome that you're getting. It's an exact science. It's really, really powerful. So everybody out there listening to this right now, there'll be something more that I know that you want for your own health and fitness. Maybe you feel bloated too often. Maybe you're just feeling tired, you're lacking some energy. Maybe you would like to get some more productivity in your business, get more energy into your life, become more focused, feel better about yourself, get a greater self-image. I know that there's a lot of people listening to this that's uh, speakers, speaking on stages and stuff. Now, I also know that none of us are doing that right now. Um, we're only doing it in front of Zoom and so forth. But it means a lot to be confident about your body when you're standing in front of people, you want to present well, you want to look good, you want to put your best self forward. And so what I'm talking about here covers all of that. Tracking what it is is so important. So if you want to work more with us, you can go to the mentaltoughnessandbodyshow.com, scroll to the bottom, you can opt in for a consultation there. Now with the bonus of that for today, you are also going to get a free report. Um, it, and it's called The Ultimate Body Transformation Secret and it's not what you think. And I'll give you the heads up. It's all about accountability and tracking what it is that you do. It's a, real, like it's a brief report, uh, but it's really, really powerful. And take that away with you so that you can help reinforce some of these things that I'm talking about. It's super, super powerful. If you want to make a difference to your health and fitness, you need to start tracking. Go back and re-listen to this so you can listen to all the things that I say that you need to track. If you want to get the template that I use with my clients, opt in for that consultation and I'll pass it on to you. And we can have a chat and see how can we make a difference to you right now. Have a great day wherever you are and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.